the secret of numeric sequence in rudram chamakam so jo bhi log ye aaj ye session dekh rahe hain ye session zyada tar english mein hoga and uh, hindi mein bhi shayad kuch ek aad mil jaye but this session is very interesting because prabhakar sir is i guess he is he is one of the person who is trying to find the secrets and he has revealed many secrets also means they were known to us but then also we have ignored it for many years so the thing what he is doing that is really most important and uh, not most but among the most important things that should be done so but and today he is here with us right now in satwa talks and three things that we promise in satwa talks that is you will have a smile on your face when you go through the session eventually eventually your life will become a celebration and our main mission our main motto is to create a stress free violence free society and the vision of gurudev is our mission and we are just moving forward towards it and talking about uh, dr prabhakar rao he is a art of living faculty and he is a agriculture scientist and a sustainable uh, uh, and sustainable living architect landscapist a child as a child he was intrigued by the origin of life everything around it sitting up high on branches of old guava tree in his parents home he would spend hours staring into the sky and later years he began to study architecture and went on to pursue his phd in plant breeding genetics he says i drawn to farming because it had creation at as its manual and connection as its goal so today he will connect all of us and the topic is very beautiful the secret of numeric sequences in shri rudram chamakam uh so uh prabhakar sir for a layman for a person who doesn't know anything can you explain what is rudram chamakam and what is the role of numeric sequence what is the secret of numeric sequence in it yes sir over to you jai gurudev abhishek and uh, thank you for giving me this beautiful opportunity to share uh, something very very interesting and uh, first thing let me say that none of this is possible without the guidance and the grace of a living master we are blessed to have pujya gurudev shri shri ravi shankar ji as a living master in our life and whatever i am going to say today it is only been revealed through his grace so uh, first of all as uh, followers of uh, uh, art of living uh, one thing we know is the importance of rudra puja yeah see before anything happens in the ashram there will always be the rudra puja correct because the rudra tattva is the tattva that is one of the primordial tattvas in the creation of this brahmand ye brahmand ki jo srishti hai usme ek shuruaat mein jo primordial tattva the unme rudra tattva ek bahut hi mahatva it is one of the most important tattvas that we pray to because it is responsible for creation hai na so ye jo hai it is something that we uh, uh, that we have to understand ki rudra tattva is it is always the puja that is done uh, the homa that is done before other homas are done we first uh, invoke ganapati after that it is the rudra puja so in rudra puja you see in everything navaratri shivaratri even every monday the rudra puja happens we have maha rudra homa that happened recently during the covid times in the ashram so rudra me kya hota hai ki people ask in rudra there is no thing ki i cannot ask you can ask anything you want 
you can shamelessly ask anything you want because the rudra tattva will grant it to you this is the beauty of rudra tattva and rudra tattva, rudra uh, chant is divided into two parts one is called the namakam and one is called the chamaka so in namakam you take the names and forms of rudra the forms of rudra so rudra has this form and that form and that form and this form so you praise rudra in all his forms all his names and then comes the chamaka yeah so in the chamaka you start asking i want this i want this i want happiness i want uh, uh, children grandchildren i want uh, bliss i want money i want steel i want water i want uh, uh, health i you are you keep on asking you know i want this i want this chame 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 everything will end with chame chame that is very called chamakam so asking asking somewhere in between there are they rattle off some sequences of numbers okay so eka chame trishas chame like that you know 1 3 5 like that ha huh? pancha chame sapta chame like that chame 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 suddenly so everybody wonders why in the middle of asking for all the blessings in life suddenly some numbers come what is these numbers it has fascinated people so a lot of people have talked about this but the one that i want that one that inspired me to explore so first i will play just to just for us to understand i will just play what this number sequence in the uh, chamakam sounds like the moment i play it all of you will know sab logon ko pata chal jayega ki aap isko pehle se hi sune hain सो ये सीक्वेंस सो वॉट आर द सीक्वेंस फर्स्ट इट इज वन थ्री फाइव सेवन अप टू थर्टी थ्री all odd number sequences up to 33 so when you saw when ekachame uh, when it came there was some formulas that i have put i will come to that later so first there is one sequence of odd numbers which stops suddenly at 33 then four times table char ka ganit jo hai huh? the multiplication time so it is 4 8 12 16 like that only up to 44 it stopped and then again it will start i want this i want that i want that i want that so nobody understood what this was till and i also i was also um, you know as a kid you when you listen you knew little bit of sanskrit numbers no so when this uh, chamakam when this rudram used to play in the ashram when they used to chant by when it came to number sequence i used to get very excited because i can i can understand what they are saying they are saying 1 3 5 so i used to get very excited so then what happened was in the uh, rudram course there was something very beautiful our gurudev here this is what gurudev gurudev said we we want rice we want dal and we want oil we want gold we want steel and everything we want the uh, we want iron we want gold we want silver and it talks about everything all nice good thing that you want to possess in the uh, when you live on the planet uh, we want mountains we want waters we want purity pure air and then there is something very mysterious in the second part that says about numbers and number first all odd numbers and then multiples of four i would like uh, some um, mathematicians here to mm, look into this you know and see what do these numbers mean i have vaguely i vaguely remember once a mathematician said this is how the computer works 
the whole programming and computer technologies come with these sort of numbers and they do have some meaning. I think someone should go deep in to do some research on that. Because why it is said, uh, why all the even odd numbers first and then the multiples of four even numbers are mentioned and say this is all for me, for my um, benefit. So when Gurudev, when I heard Gurudev say this, Mujhe laga Gurudev to mere se baat kar rahe. I, I felt when he said somebody should research this, I felt he was telling to me. And next uh, 72 to hours, I did not sleep. I was so energized that I went deep into researching these numbers. And when I researched, something fantastic came. So, abhi jo hai, I will just take you through a brief understanding ki ye numbers kidar se aata hai. Where do these numbers come? Yeah. So, of course, here uh, uh, we, I am, a, uh, I, I, I am uh, one of the people uh, whom Gurudev blessed to do the Mandalavatika uh, course. You know? So, I teach Mandalavatika course and Gurudev, after 2000 years, the first physical mandala of Muruga, he installed next to the Shiva temple in our ashram. So, this is the first time that this uh, uh, Mandalavatika has been physically established in this planet after 2000 years. So, either aapko dikhaga. You see, if you see this table, something very interesting, how this, so if you see this uh, 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 column, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 2, 4, 6, 8, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 2, 4, 6, 8. Repeat hota hai. It just repeats itself. Let me take it back. Yeah. So, you can see after this green is one set, then there is a yellow set, then green set, yellow set, and either jo hai, fir bando ja. Hai na? After this, it will stop because the next number is eight. After that, one, three, five, seven, nine, two, two, four, six, eight. It will come like this only. And how this comes, we can do a little bit of mathematics. If we do the mathematics and take the digital route, this will come. Actually, wo detail me abhi mai jata nahi ho. Lekin what you need to understand is that this sequence of numbers, there is something called modulus 9 arithmetic. Same thing happens based on another sequence, 4, 8, 3, 7, 2, 6, 1, 5, 9, 4, 8. Next, after 44, it does not continue because if it continues again, you will get 3, 7, 2, 6, 1, 5, 9, 4, 8. It will keep repeating, keep looping, 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 looping. How we get this? There is a simple formula. You just have to add the subsequent number. So if you add this second number plus first number, you will get four. Then third number plus second number, you will get eight. Like that it will go. When it goes to 10, you will see here uh, 15 plus 13. So 15 plus 13, 15 plus 13, if you add, it will come to 28. Two plus eight is 10. One plus zero is one. Like that, you, you can keep uh, making this series. Yes, series to aajata hai. And this is not any great uh, discovery. Some people have tried and some people have found some connection to get the series. It is not a big thing because that is how computer code is done. Any computer programmer, if he wants to generate a series, there will be a formula. He will put the formula, one algorithm he will put and then you can generate any uh, series you want. Ye to ho jata hai. Lekin, what does this numbers mean? Why it is stopping at 33? Why it is stopping at 44? This was a big uh, inspiration for me to explore. When I explored this, we found something. We found something very interesting. Ye interesting kya hai ki if we take in this a circle and make it into nine divisions. So one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then it repeats after that. This is called modulus nine arithmetic. And if this one, I make the Rudram Chamakam Chan, there is a beautiful mandala pattern that comes. You can watch this now. So whenever that is coming, 
you can see i am joining the lines ekachame it will start with one trischachame one will join three panchachame three will join five like that i am doing now yeah so you can watch this is very beautiful <laughs> So we get this beautiful Navakona. It is a nine pointed star. It has got one outer star and it has one inner star. And after this, after 33, if you continue, the same thing will repeat, 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 repeat. It is a fractal. So how you see, so how you see suddenly the lines start joining and suddenly one star will come and then it goes inside. So a nine-pointed star inside a nine-pointed star. A Navakona inside a Navakona. This is for the number sequence, odd numbers. That is one, three, five like that. That is the odd numbers. Now let us see what is happening in the uh, even numbers. Okay, even numbers 1 to 44. If you see that, also something beautiful is happening. What is happening? So now you can see now the next one. So this is very beautiful because, because what is happening, you are getting a nine-pointed star, but inside that nine-pointed star, that odd number sequence, ka, jo andar tha, what was inside, that is getting uh, shown here. So what we are seeing is this beautiful Purusha. The Purusha is getting reflected in the Prakriti. This is a very, very interesting uh, 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 understanding in Sankhya Kharika. One of our beautiful philosophical test, texts is called Sankhya Kharika. And in this Sankhya Kharika, it shows that there is a static principle, which is the Purusha. Purusha does not get involved with creation. But his reflection inside, this blue inside, is the reflection which is created by the dynamic principle, which is the Prakriti. Prakriti is the female principle. So we have this beautiful understanding of this uh, uh, Prakriti and Purusha. But the question is, what is this nine-pointed star? That is a big question. And when we did a lot of, I did a lot of research on this, not even research, it is all the Guru Tattva flowing. It was revealed that this is nothing but a Navakona, which consists of three triangles. And you will see how it comes about. So you can see three colors, blue, red, and yellow triangles. These three triangles represent the trigunas, the rajas, sattva, and the tama. Tamogon, rajogon, and sattvogon. These three triangles are the ones which create the universe. These three triangles, when they rotate, this chamakam number sequence is giving the secret, the rahasya 
how you can have everything you have you want in this universe if you know how to use the rotation of these three gunas this is the secret that is being chanted so if you just understand this and listen to the chamakam number sequences in a rudra homa whatever at that time you want it will manifest in your life this is why rudra homa is so powerful so let us just push the envelope a little more because of time constraint i don't want to go too much into detail but i will show you what all is there so we understand this so ye abhi aapko pata chal gaya ki this navakona is actually the purusha principle reflected in the prakriti the purple color nine pointed star is a prakriti and that nine pointed star is actually three triangles rajogun tamogun and satvagun which is interacting interlocked and interacting with each other in the buddhist tradition this is called the endless knot ek uh, uh, bodh uh, tradition mein isko ek endless knot bol ke ek mandala hai unke paas that is that then in the uh, gurjev ka enneagram you will find the same nine pointed star okay we won't go to the, the detail of this bahai ye bahai jo uh, uh, ek uh, su, uh, sufi faith hota hai muslim mein unka bhi bahai temple aap you go to delhi or anywhere in the world and look at the bahai temple it will be based on the nine pointed star so these are all very special things you can see for this pulse and everything they are nine the nikola tesla's famous nine uh, 369 number is also in the same mandala this is also there and if we see the ancient science of uh, sankhya kharika this is how it works purusha is pure consciousness prakriti is the unmanifest matter and the reflection of the purusha in the prakriti creates the moola prakriti and this moola prakriti is now ready to create and from there you get the mahat or the buddhi and the ahankara and the most important these three triangles sattva rajas and tamas these three triangles then create all the uh, mind five uh, elements of the mind five subtle element the tanmatras the kamendriyas and the gnanendriyas all this is uh, created and this is how the uh, entire creation happens so this chamakam uh, uh, number sequence is giving you a see uh, uh, a beautiful understanding of how this uh, entire thing is created so when i made this presentation entire presentation to gurudev gurudev was so happy and uh, he was very curious and uh, see actually the whole thing gurudev only is allowing it to flow through me ye to sab unka hi guru tatva hai but when he is in front of you he is asking acha ye sab pata kiya tune i mean as if he, as if i am uh, understanding and revealing this he is the divine so he knows and he has uh, uh, got me to i am an instrument and he put me to uh, uh, unveil this yeah and uh, he was very very happy so this little bit i wanted to share today just to give you a glimpse of what is this number sequences in the rudram chamakam and how the rahasya is there not only in hinduism it is there in all cultures and how they use this navakona which is actually three trikonas rajagun tamagun and satvagun if you want to harness these correctly and get them to rotate then whatever you want will be manifest आप जो संकल्प लेते हैं वो संकल्प पूरा हो जाएगा दिस इज वाई वी डू दी रुद्रम होमा एंड विद दिस आई हैंड यू बैक टू अभिषेक जी भैया आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन लाइक पर्सन हु इज लाइक हैंडलिंग दीज थिंग्स इन अ वेरी नाइस मैनर सो इफ वी सी लाइक इन इन लॉजिकल सेट ऑफ माइंड वी सी anything will get manifest because we have seen many many places where these things are happening but still people feel like okay 
I have not got my wish fulfilled and they have something in their mind. So what do you want to say about it? So my, in fact, entire Mandala Vatika, I say this, this technology of Mandala Vatika, that is sacred geometry, sacred geometry, using sacred geometry to create. Yeah. So you become the creator. This can happen only if there is a living master. See, unki kabach me jo aap karenge, koi bhi galti hone ka chance nahi hai and unki protection, unki protection me aap ye kar rahe hai. Then there is no problem. Then there is no problem because it is like our master has given the guarantee, ek uh, cosmic uh, bank guarantee diya hai. Ki ye mere bachche hai inko khilne do. I will take responsibility for them. Tabi jo hai hum itni, uh, you know, powerful uh, tatwong ke saath hum uh, bachche jaise we can uh, act, we can behave with them like friends. Hai na? To ye, it can happen only under the kabach of the master. And tell me something. So many of us who are sitting regularly in these Rudra Pujas, tell me one person who can honestly say that nothing they have wanted has, even one thing that they have wanted has not happened in their life. I will challenge this. Ha, it may be possible that everything you want may not happen. But at least aapki zindge mein ek to hua hoga na. And believe me, what has not happened for you is not destined to happen for you. The universe and Gurudev have better plan for you. <laughs> because one is what we need and one is what we greed. Gurudev will always give you what you need. He will satisfy your need, not your greed. Greed ka to koi ant nahi hota hai. So even in this, whatever we need, whatever you need, it will be granted. Now, what your greed is, that is a separate story. <laughs> we don't get into that. Hey, na? I hope that answers your question, Abhishek. Yeah, in this, we have seen a beautiful combination of Purush and Prakriti. And they are like very much nicely merged into each other. And uh, there is a proper sequence which is getting formed. As you told, we do it in the algorithm point of view. I just want to know, uh, is this sequence, you, you told that these sequence are also being showed in other religions and all. So people who just draws it, like the people who have learned Mandala Vatika, which I have heard, they just make it, draw it. And because... People will do many things out of it of, uh, after this. So they can draw it. Does that also affect? Like making this design and keeping it like that? Or we need to also have something more to be done? So this is a very beautiful question. So here comes the difference between Yantra technology and Mandala technology. See, yantra technology is what you are saying. Isko kuch naksha bana diya, phir uspe puja kiya, phir usko surakshit rakha kahi aapki garb godi mein and then afterward you keep on doing some pujas and all that and making it powerful so that it will manifest things and all that. That is yantra technology. Yantra technology is very, very, very perverted. Aap google ki jiye for, uh, you want yantra for... Uh, uh, somebody to fall in love with you, 50,000 rupees. If you want somebody to divorce you, 1 lakh rupees. Uh, if you want somebody, <laughs> your, if your boss, you want him transferred, uska bhi ek rate hai. Har cheez ka, there is a yantra. So yantra technology is one of, it is something, it is a fantastic technology. But the way it is practiced today, it is very perverted. And this is where this sacred geometry got, gets a bad name. But mandala technology is you do it. After that, that mandala is just a piece of paper. There is, there is no, it is just a piece of paper. That's all. You can uh, tear it and put it in a pot and let it recycle. That's it. Ye ek alag sa technology hai, which is very innocent. Hai na? This is like children. Okay. Today, you want to call a friend because you are feeling, you know, Are yaar, I, 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 I want to chill with my friend. So, you have to call Siddhi Vinayaka. Manifest reality. 
as a friend you call siddhi vinayaka to your reality you as a friend you call durga devi as a friend you call uh, paramahalakshmi as a friend you call muruga so it is a innocent interaction between two people like children the tatva is programmed to give you all the good things in life siddhi vinayaka if he comes into your life his he is programmed to remove obstacles and everything if uh, durga devi is uh, comes into your life she is programmed to create chaos and remove stagnation from your life so like that what they are programmed to do they will do but you are not calling them for that you are calling them as a friend chalo yaar eh thoda chill karte hain hum log this innocence in this technology of mandala vatika is what makes it very special but this technology will only operate if there is a living master I guess Gurudev is here. We are so fortunate. अभी और भी questions लेते हैं आप लोगों को अगर question पूछना है तो आप लोग hand raise कर सकते हैं और ये अच्छा एक question आया है मैं वो लेता हूँ there is one Nicholas said there is a wonderful Uh, Nik- Nikola Tesla said, "Three six nine is the secret of the universe. What is the secret?" इसके बारे में भैया, you want to say something? So, see three six nine. If you see this uh, PPT, let me just open that slide of Nikola Tesla. तो इधर जो आपको ये मिलेगा, see this one. हाँ, see this three six nine is called the vortex math, है ना? This three six nine is actually coming from our uh, uh, Navakona only. It is coming from our Navakona of Rudram Chamakam. But here, this three six nine refers to something what uh, Nikola Tesla called the vortex math. Vortex ka matlab kya hai? Getting unlimited free energy from vacuum. Nikola Tesla, who technology actually, usne banaya tha. and he wanted to give the whole world this free how to get unlimited energy free from vacuum ye vortex math mein hai rahasya hai us but then unfortunately wo kuch usko uda diya logon ne because then if he is give, going to give everybody unlimited energy uh, through from vacuum Then, फिर ऑयल कंपनीज क्या करेंगे इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कंपनीज क्या करेंगे सब बैंक हो जाएंगे ना सो दे इट इज सेट कॉन्स्पिरेसी थियरी है लेकिन दे से दैट ही वाज बम्प्ड ऑफ बिकॉज ही वाज गोइंग टू क्रिएट सच अ डिसरप्टर इन द कॉमर्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड जहां एनर्जी इज अ पावर विच पीपल हैव देखो अभी यूक्रेन क्राइसिस में क्या हो रहा है इट इज ओनली दल पावर नो दे आर यूजिंग है ना तो ऐसा इफ समबडी इज गोइंग टू गिव फ्री अनलिमिटेड एनर्जी टू द होल वर्ल्ड इमेजिन व्हाट व्हाट विल हैपन दैट इज व्हाई दे से दैट ही बम्प्ड ऑफ बट दिस ये वोर्टेक्स मैथ जो है इट इज दैट व्हिच अलाउज वन टू एक्सट्रैक्ट अनलिमिटेड एनर्जी फ्रॉम वैक्यूम वंडरफुल वंडरफुल दैट गुज बम्स ये तो सही में काफी इंटरेस्टिंग है कि देर आर सर्टेन थिंग्स विच आर सीक्रेट मुझे तो भैया हैव यू एवर बीन टू कैलाश और यू नो द सीक्रेट व्हाई पीपल आर लाइक सो मच फैसिनेटेड अबाउट दैट प्लेस इज देर एनी कॉम्बिनेशन वहां पे भी आप महसूस कर मींस वो है क्या बिकॉज पीपल कांट गो देयर पीपल कांट टच दैट माउंटेन दैट इज बिकॉज ऑफ सम काइंड ऑफ अ uh sequence which is formed there there are various places on earth where we can see the bermuda triangle also now obviously kafi sari cheeze easy ho gayi but there are many mountains also i have heard in nepal where people can't go there they are they will go mad so is this the see some there are some sequence which are negative like that No, no. There, there is no question of negative sequence in Kailash. See, Kailash is actually one of the vortex centers. जैसे आपने ज्योतिर्लिंग होते हैं, है ना? All our ज्योतिर्लिंग, our ज्योतिर्लिंग actually, if you see, they are all aligned. 
एक मैग्नेटिक लाइन चलता है विच इज कॉल्ड ले लाइन एल ई वाई आप मैग्नेटिक ले लाइन गूगल करेंगे तो यू विल गेट लॉर्ड ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन मैग्नेटिक ले लाइन the one of the ley lines which is going through the, the uh, our jyotirlings actually goes it turns and it goes to kailash otherwise these ley lines are connecting machu picchu in south america to cambodia our angkor wat in cambodia har pavitra jagah jahan pharaohs ki kingdoms the ye sab jo hai ley lines se connected hai hai na so these are all considered as certain energy centers from where certain energy vortexes vortices are there and uh, people can experience these energy vortices hai na abhi forget about kailash and all that i will give you an example of something in our ashram i will talked about the energy vortex in our ashram gurudev recently blessed me to do the master planning for the uh, entire campus of art of living unhone bataya ki abhi ek मास्टर प्लानिंग करो 2025, 2035, 2050 2050 और उन्होंने ये भी बताया कि ये आश्रम हजार साल के बाद भी रहेगा इधर तो वी हैव टू डू टिल 30, 50 आल्सो मास्टर प्लानिंग है ना तो मास्टर प्लानिंग करने के लिए व्हेन वी स्टार्टेड वी हैड सो मेनी डिफिकल्टीज बिकॉज आर्किटेक्ट दे वांट वन लाइन फर्स्ट विच इज कॉल्ड स्पाइन उधर से हम लोग ग्रिड बना के पूरा मास्टर प्लानिंग करते हैं In the ashram, we could not get a grid at all. Every possible thing, north south ka grid liya, east west ka grid liya, har cheez ka grid liya. Nothing was sitting till we discovered something very beautiful. The first uh, kutir of Gurudev in uh, the old ashram, okay, which we call now the Devi kutir, the original Ganga kutir, huh? Sumeru Manta. okay then our uh, present ganga yeah vm vishalakshi mantap and the new shiva temple which we built in 19, uh, in 2021 and uh, a covid ke time can you imagine abhishek ye bilkul ek straight line mein hai nobody can make out aap paidal bhi jaye to you will never make out we know when gurudev first chose a spot for vishalakshi mantap it was like a dense jungle with all thorns and bushes and he, even to walk it was very difficult to get to that point and gurudev was saying at that time either ek bahut mahan ek structure banega the us lakhs of people will come to visit this place and hum log soch rahe the yaar ye jungle mein kon aayega you know the time difference between the original kutir and sumeru mantap to shiva temple it is 40 years lekin 40 saal pehle gurudev knew where the shiva temple will be there that land was also not ours at that time wo pakka ek straight line and that is a ley line called ley line number 133 wo magnetic ley line pe hai and gurudev says that the on this line the like we have human body with the chakras the chakras are located on this ley line wo south gaya to ek devi temple ko jata hai north gaya to ek shiv shiv mandir jata hai bahut famous shiv mandir pe jata hai and this ley line 133 you know if you google the number 133 it is says the angel who gives love gurudev ka definition hai 133 mein This ley line one three three is there in our ashram. So ashram me, wo jo energy vortex hai, Sumeru Manta, Vishalakshi Mandir, Shiva Temple, in our Ganga Kutir, all this, it is not by accident. Gurudev, he forty years ago he knew that this line is going to have all these buildings, and even fourteen years from now. मान लो कि टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटी थ्री में क्या आना है ही नोज नाउ सो दैट इज वाई आई से वेन समबडी सेंग यूर सो लकी टू डू द मास्टर प्लानिंग आई से लिसन आई हैव अ मास्टर ही हैज अ प्लान ही इज ओनली आस्किंग मी टू पुट इट ऑन पेपर आई एम नॉट प्लानिंग प्लानिंग इज हिस्स there yeah, uh, there are a lot of people who who are really getting excited 
they want to learn from you they want to join you and uh, what's the next steps they can take because they want to learn the course and everything so if you can tell them okay one thing if you if you are an architect and you want to do 3 months seva in the ashram in this master planning okay send your cvs to me through abhishek hai na we will send it to chr and you can be a part of this master planning it is a seva okay we will provide you accommodation and food but you have to do this 3 months as seva theek hai na to har 3 months hum batch change karte jate hain hai na so if you are an architect you can do that if you are just interested in mandala vatika technology that after 2000 years our gurudev is reviving then please go to our website mandalavatika.com hai na and register for the course it is open hai na wo online course hai you can watch it at your own time Uh, from tomorrow i am starting the mandala vatika trainers program 70 people are going to become teachers of mandala vatika 15 days program chalu hai kal se hai na so interesting things are happening so if you want to join mandala vatika course just go to mandalavatika.com our website and you can go and register there four mandalas will be taught to you it is flexi viewing teen mahine ka time rehta hai uh, 32 hours ka recording dekhne ke liye and you can easily do it and it is a very exciting course also yeah there are so many interesting things happening in ashram uh, there's a parma culture also there uh, happening and mandala vatika is also happening so bhaiya yeah, i one thing because you have done a lot of research in agriculture field here yeah, what's the one reason why still so many farmers are having losses and there are many people who are from agriculture background may be watching this so if you can say something to them wonderful 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 in fact by the grace of the master avi hamare agriculture trust uh, our agriculture trust has been given the uh, responsibility of managing all the agriculture in the ashram just from last october we have taken over so all the agriculture in the ashram is being managed by the agriculture trust trishi institute of agriculture sciences and technology ssist hai na so permaculture and all our ashram agriculture and horticulture and uh, uh, herbal medicine gardens everything is being managed by agriculture trust so if people want to do seva in agriculture or permaculture then write to us come you can do come and do seva for one month two months six months you can learn lot of areas where nothing can grow we are bringing under permaculture so that we can cultivate there patthar pe bina koi jahan mitti nahi hai udhar hum log agriculture karna karte hain where we create soil and we uh, grow uh, you know food so all these opportunities whether you want to learn natural farming you can come to the ashram and you can learn natural farming so many many things are there okay so lot of things but coming to your question of farmers dekhiye pehli baar our government central government under the leadership of uh, of prime minister modi first time the government has said this country needs natural farm so if you see namami gange project 5 km on either side of ganga from rishikesh up to west bengal uh modi ji is creating natural farming 10 km ka uh, ganga entire ganga is being created as uh, natural farming like that he is going to take every river and create natural farming so slowly he is bringing natural farming because as long as the farmer is under the grip of the agrochemical cartel the agrochemical multinational corporations उसका तो कोई फ्यूचर नहीं है ही हैज नो फ्यूचर बिकॉज दे फोर्स हिम टू बाय हाइब्रिड सीड्स दे फोर्स हिम टू बाय फर्टिलाइजर दे फोर्स हिम टू बाय पेस्टिसाइड वीडीसाइड निमेटिसाइड देन फंजीसाइड एंड लास्ट में क्या होता है सुइसाइड दैट्स ऑल यू नो सो ही हैज नो फ्यूचर सो दिस श्री श्री नेचुरल फार्मिंग इज द सोल्यूशन फॉर फार्मर्स ऑफ टूमोरो एंड वी आर सो हैप्पी दैट द गवर्नमेंट हिम देम सेल्फ गिव द ब्लेसिंग to take this form hai na so we must all promote this natural farming which gurudev has been doing for 17 years the present government only started 3 years ago 
talking about natural farming. Art of Living has been doing for 17 years. We have been doing natural farming. We have more than 22 lakh farmers, 2.2 million farmers in India who are promoting, who are doing natural farming. We have trained. We have more than 2,000 teachers who can teach natural farming in our uh, uh, in our art of living. No, so we, we are very well positioned to take advantage now of Narendra Modi ji's uh, Prakritik Kheti natural farming uh, initiative. Wonderful. And I guess uh, if you want to learn, uh, there are so many opportunities from the ashram side. Ek jan ne question pucha hai ki for doing seva in agriculture, we must have an agriculture background for this seva. You should have passion. You should have passion. Rest of it, we will teach you. You must have the fire in the belly to learn agriculture. You know, if you have the fire in the belly, then uh, everything else can be taught. <laughs> okay. So, abhi mein ek, ek means bahut sare questions are hai. Or, I guess, uh, kuch questions to, aap, 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 aap ko agar puchna hai, to agar aap ek to hand raise karke bhi puchna chahe, to puch sakte hai. We can allow one question more. Do you minute ka time bacha hai, so we can have one more question. If you want to ask something, you can raise your hands because it is getting difficult for me to read all the things. You can raise your hand, so I will unmute you. Okay. A question my chat box may say padle town, jo aya hua hai. Uh, what is the different between what is the difference between yantra and acha and mandala? Ye to bataya hua hai. I guess you have explained this. In this session, okay. Or जो लोग ये session देख रहे हैं, आपको अगर Mandala Vati का course join करना है, तो उसके details में description box में I will put the details in the description box and in the comment section. And if you want uh, to do seva, then you can uh, in ashram. तो मैं वहाँ पे भी obviously कुछ numbers दे दूँगा, so the the person you can contact and they will help you and guide you how you can uh, come ahead and do seva and agar jinko abhi join karna hai to it's www.mandalavatika.com that's the website i will put it in youtube also so you can get it and make sure that maximum people watch this session isko aap share kijiye sab tak pahunchaiye ye session ko so that people come to know about this secret and uh, log is channel ko bhi subscribe ki jay. we are just trying to uh, bring out all the things which is in art of living and gurudev se aur zyada connection build ho usi ke liye hai uh, shreya agrawal ji pooch rahi hai ek question shreya ji if you can unmute if it's possible uh, could you achha, main pad deta hon. could you also share some links to read about the ray line lay, lay line 133 yeah so actually this lay line 133 is the lay line that is passing through the ashram i know you can google lay lines and you can google the number significance of number 133 the actual uh uh, the map of the ley lines, you know, it is a document that is not easily available. You know? So, because people keep that gupt uh, gya, they keep it uh, as a secret. Yeah, They don't want too many people messing around with that. But this particular ley line, how we find out is, we find out the angle of the line as a deviation from the true north. That is how ley lines are numbered. And the one passing through our ashram is at 133 degrees uh, deviating from the true north. Yeah. So that is why it is called ley line 133. But every ley line has got that line is there and it is not necessarily a straight line. In a few thousand acres, it will be a straight line. But if you are going through 
thousands of kilometers then as the magnetic uh, uh, size the size of the continents the size of the land masses change there will be slight curvature that is why when you see the uh, ley line that is joining all the jyotirlings the jyotirlings are in one straight line but then when it goes towards the himalayas because of the weight of the himalayas it will gently curve to the right and go through kailash hai na so the ley lines are not when you look at in the, in the scale of the earth they are not the uh, straight lines they will gently to but in a ashram size campus you will see perfect straight line and yeah, the most important question like uh, we can see all jyotirlings in a straight line yeah ye chalo gurudev hai he is master he comes to know all the things and all us zamane mein the kind of architecture we see unko kaise pata laga ki नासिक में जो ज्योतिर्लिंग है और उज्जैन में जो है वो एक लाइन ड्रॉ करे तो सीधा इट इज इन प्योर इंट्यूशन और हाउ दे परसीव इट आई एम रियली फैसिनेटेड टू नो इट कि कैसे इमेजिन कर लेते थे कि हाँ ये उधर भी इसी लाइन में होता था बिकॉज उस टाइम तो इतनी टेक्नोलॉजी थी नहीं ऐसा हमें लगता है so ye this is a very beautiful question see what is happening in our system of pursuit of truth jo hum ye sach ki khoj mein na what is the ultimate truth even modern science says that everything in this universe ultimately can be reduced to bits of information 0 1 0 1 matrix jaisa bits of information the whole universe is created out of bits of matrix uh, bits of information in our vedic tradition we have something called akashic records akashic records is the repository of knowledge everything that has happened everything that is happening everything that can happen in the future is there in the akashic records our rishis just went and connected to the akashic records it's like connecting to a cloud server wo connect kiya they took a dump of information they knew ley lines they just have to connect to the cloud server akashic cloud server they will get the dump of information they know this is the ley line unko koi technology ka zarurat nahi hai because they access the knowledge real time directly so all the knowledge like if we take nasa the sukta which is in the 10th mandala of rigveda 129th hymn which talks about how the universe was created the rishi parameshti prajapati he just started vibrating at the frequency of a tatva called bhavavrutam bhavavrutam is a god coming before shiva vishnu and all that bhavavrutam ki frequency mein jab wo kiya to immediately the knowledge of how the universe started just came to him and then he made it into a sukta and gave it to us so our way of approaching knowledge is not through experiment we directly go to the source we take a dump of information jaise hum log cloud server mein you log into the cloud and you you download whatever you want no like that our rishis were experts at accessing akashic records that is why we don't have to have any experiments and we don't have to have big books and all that wo bas direct link with the thing so anybody who is enlightened has got access to akashic records so gurudev doesn't have to actually think he knows that's the difference <laughs> and also lot of like aaj ke mobile mein we see every 15 days the storage gets full but when we are actually empty then only we can connect to it so it is like Yes, yes. You want to say something? Oh, this sir. is deepest gyan you have said. This downloading happens when you are hollow and empty. आप कचड़ा भरा है तो एक dump the the dad your drive is full, no storage. <laughs> But if you empty the drive, Akashic records will just dump to you. And obviously, it doesn't take storage. Also, it just happens. And this session is also. i guess what are the akashic records that we have got through this so many people will come to know about all the things and uh, thank you so much prabhakar sir for coming and sharing this wonderful knowledge aur jo bhi log dekh rahe hain ye session bahut precious session hai 
सो मेक श्योर कि आप लोग इसे जब जब भी, भी देखेंगे यूट्यूब में इसे आप शेयर कीजिएगा एंड प्रभाकर सर जाने से पहले कोई लास्ट में से जो आप देना चाहोगे लोगों को जय गुरुदेव ऑल आई कैन थैंक एंड आई ब्लेस यू अभिषेक यू आर डूइंग सच अ वंडरफुल सर्विस बाय होस्टिंग सच टॉक्स ब्रिंगिंग सच नॉलेज इन टू दी लाइम लाइट एंड आई थैंक ऑल दी व्यूअर्स हु आर हियर for joining the session because is actually the consciousness of the participants which makes this session you should know this by now abhishek ji it is the participants who make the session so in this session i can thank each one of the participants and our host abhishek ranjan for creating a platform where this knowledge of the guru could flow